And yes, so for insurers, uh, the fallout from the COVID-19 outbreak and a surge for health, travel and business interruption claims. Pressure for sales from reduced business activity and less use for face-to-face -face channels. The gathering economic slowdown, it don't bust out from the pandemic and instead they drive interest rates even lower and they increasing credit and risk exposure and from businesses where they face possible default. And this one, it don't raise the possibility of regulators where they ask for extraordinary solvency tests to make sure, say, insurance fit still withstand the immediate and the knock for impact. To join us live via telephone, MD CEO Anchor Insurance Company Limited. Mr. Austin Osega. Mr. Austin, will they hail you this morning? Good morning, Mr. Austin. Good morning, I hear you. Thank you, sir. You join us on Top of News this morning. So I want to ask you a small question. How this COVID-19 pandemic don't impact Obodo Nanja insurance sector? The COVID-19 impact everywhere, but we try to stay on because we don't plan our future. Mm. The regulator don't try to put us in the stead. So insurance is, uh, before now, they look forward. So we look forward before everybody because the risk, our risk, mm. and the risk, when will they process, when will they think about all the time? Now, what will they start here, will they see tomorrow? Mm. It'll be like a bonga spirituality. And they see it like that. So you see, say, so, uh, the high rate for insurance, uh, it don't claim this season? The, the rate, it don't high. Okay. It don't have, but because we have uh, reinsurance, when we don't plan down, mm. looking at the risk mitigation and all those things, now, now you want no person where it's strong, person where it's scatter. Sure. For this pandemic, now something that is very new, when never happened to anybody before. Mm. So you know, really, if you blame anybody, which you won't do, even the job loss and everything, mm. everything will increase right now. Mm. You know, okay. and the, the the biggest problem of all of them mm. is that more business are not coming in to mm. even mitigate the loss. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, but but the truth of the matter is, hmm. we try our best to make sure say we they sustain because insurance as it is have what they call insurance reserve. Hmm. Okay. So waiting that one, that will dip our hand. But how long will this last? We don't know. Okay. So which me measures on don't they put in place to take work against this post uh, COVID nineteen impact? Uh, we we look for a way things like things when we know say it will you not know, go impact directly into our business and the claim process really. Okay. We they try to cut down. We they try to cut down so many things. Okay, okay. And so the maybe training, I, IT, and all whatever. But now IT now they take more money because when you are cutting from the other side, you take and the place for the other side. Okay. Face mask not our budget. We don't put face mask now for budget. Budget. Mm -hmm. Hand sanitizer not our budget. We don't put them. Mm. Okay. Now we they make sure say if you don't have car to come to the office, you cannot come. So we they look for. We don't buy more cars. We give our staff to go go around so that. And now you don't even feel anybody office, so the true. source of uh, Zoom and everything don't increase. Not In fact, this this advert, this uh, I, uh, interview when are they do now? I suppose they're your office, but I know if, you come, if I come, I feel, I feel run away. Natural talk, natural talk. So federal government mm -hmm. don't hear and say they go engage insurance companies to take secure health insurance for the healthcare workers. So this matter, uh, it don't they come for long, or how you see them? Thank you very much. You know, this year, by the grace of God, when they give out, give, give up uh, ACO award, I mm. told the government that they should brace up for challenges in future. Okay. But they take insure people for this country. Mm -hmm. It was like, at the talk like prophet that time. Now it has happened. You see, um... A lot of governments, state governments, they don't get health insurance, they don't get insurance for their staff and everything, not even group life. Mm -hmm. But now it don't happen now. You see, um... A lot of people that, that we think would have sustained them, mm. even business interruption policy, they don't get. Mm. We have a policy in ACO that we call a uh, a loss of employment. They're not taken. Mm. People will lose job now. They're not going to come now. Now, they don't come now, they can't take. You see, uh, you see as life be. Now, when you thing. don't lose job, now you call the one take policy. Mm. Mm. Even the government itself, the health insurance and health, uh, welfare scheme and all that, they're not mm. taken serious. Wow. Even so, for uh, parents, uh, even so for parents that will lose time. their job to help them yeah. pay school fees, they're true, not doing true. true, true. Because of time, eh? So, which changes you fit they expect for the insurance sector for post COVID 19? Just talk out small, small because of time. Yeah, but COVID, uh, post COVID, I think we mm. now it has created more awareness for insurance. People now know the importance of insurance. That is the, mm. the highlight, highlight, and the most important thing we we'll collect come up for this matter. Yeah, true. Because now people don't know, say insurance is very important. Before they see insurance like uh, Yahoo Yahoo. Mm -hmm. But now everybody, I don't clear. 
Now, so the matter take B. Thank you, Mr. Austin, for your time. As you don't come give us this information, our eyes have done still come open the more about how we're supposed to take a run this matter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Make you get a better day. Okay, you too. Yes, yeah, so.